So, my name is Isla Shannon, I've come from the University of Exeter, um, where I work in the complex disease epigenetics group. So, we profile uh, a lot of uh, genomic data, and we're strong advocates of making this data open access. Um, we deposit all the raw data, process data in the gene expression omniverse, which is a fairly standard way of, of providing that data to the wider research community. In addition to that, we like to make these kind of uh, what we call web applications, little online tools that people can come along to and look at the data on, say, a gene-by-gene -gene basis. So they often look something like this. There's a text box um, here where you can fill in, this is a DNA methylation, so you can fill in a, uh, an identifier for a specific DNA methylation site and you get a plot at the end. Currently, we do this through a collaborator at Essex, so they all have .essex.ac.uk, and as we're at Exeter University, it would be quite nice if we could transfer this across and have .exeter.ac.uk instead. So we've been going about trying to set this up. Um, I have the skills to do the software to make them look like this. I don't know what hardware I need behind it to enable me to do this. Um, but actually, the bigger challenge we've had is about 18 months ago, we bought a NAS box designed so that we could share big data files with collaborators. In those 18 months, we've been battling with the university to allow us to open it up so that anybody from a non-Exeter IP address can actually connect to download it. This is highly frustrating, and so I'm kind of reaching out to the community to hear to see if anyone else has uh, come across similar issues with the university, whether they've had any uh, solutions to this problem. We did have a meeting last week, and the main issue seems to be around security, and also um, they kept saying they don't have the resources to do this. And what they mean by resources is people. They don't have the staff. Um, so then the burden kind of almost... I'm happy, you know, I kind of then get volunteered in to say, well, no, I'll look after all of that. And yet again, it's another thing that's not in my uh, job description and I don't have any time to do. But if we want it to happen, the burden falls on, on, on me ultimately. So I've seen lots of nods. Um, <laughs> hopefully maybe one of those might have uh, solutions or something. But thank you very much.